Macaruni Podcast. Hello guys, I'm Andreas. I'm Rooney. And you're watching Macaruni Podcast. <laughs> of course, Rooney, it's already the fourth episode. Can you imagine that? I know. I can't believe it. Almost a month, Andreas. Actually, it's yeah, more it's than a month. I mean, if we include the planning. It's more than a month, Rooney. Happy anniversary. So happy. Huh? Oh my god, you just got it from my mouth. Come on, give it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say, Rooney, that I'm so, so impressed about people respond on the podcast. And thank you so much, guys. We are really blessed to have all your support. Do you think that we'll keep doing this podcast until we get old? Imagine you and me old and be like, Hello, guys, this is Andreas and this is Rooney and we're doing the Mac. Caroni podcast. <laughs> This is episode 1035. <laughs> Hello, guys. Andreas. Yeah. Rooney. What's our topic today? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. By the way, Rooney, remember the last time talking about the belly buttons? Y guys, okay, okay. I, I will clear this up for Andreas. You <laughs> destroy my image to people, <laughs> Rooney, okay? Lots of people thought that Andreas didn't watch his belly button. That's because yeah, they they're... didn't watch the full version of the video. Guys, I said that I'm just washing my belly button, but I don't like to touch. It. I'm But using you like actually go in. you know that you made me trauma when I'm going to have a shower now and just touch it and I'm like <laughs> But I do it, you know? Andreas wash his belly button. Thank you, Rooney, for clear things. Thank you so much. I'm sure one day guys we will have a video of me cleaning Andreas belly button. I don't know, it, it will be fun, Andreas. It will be only fun, yes. Only fun. <laughs> What's the topic today, Bruni? Debating, guys. I really enjoyed reading people's mind. We want to debate. Can you hear that? What was that? Thunder. Is it raining now? Yeah, heavy rain. Andreas, you had fireworks the other time and now you have thunder. <laughs> What's that? The ET, the e alien the is UFO. going home. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I believe in aliens. You don't believe it? No, oh. you're so selfish, Rooney. Do you believe that the only sign of being is only in, on Earth? I feel like if there's alien, we would have been attacked already. Maybe aliens are peaceful people and they don't want to attack. Or maybe there's another universe. Imagine there is another planet, another Rooney, another Andreas. I used to think a lot why we only have around 100 years to live on. I was talking with my cousin and he told me that now the science is studying about make people to live longer. We Would you want to live longer? If I was healthy, yeah. The point is not suffering, right? Because I want to go back to the base. The question was if I believe in aliens. It's just like ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe. I experienced something in the past, but it was because I wanted to believe, you know? One person I was really in touch died, and I saw that person. I could see it on my wall. It was like a projection. I think maybe it's your... Just a second, just a second. Wow. That's cute, he missed you. No, no, he just scared about the rain. Andres, do you know that dogs can actually see ghosts? Yeah, I know. Guys, I hope you're not watching this episode and it's night. So we you know change our to topic to ghosts today? Yeah, why not? Let me tell you this, okay? I was in a relationship. This person know a lot about me. We were with a company and they were trying to do this Ouija board stuff that you have this board. They make me ask a question when it was the last time I went to this person's grave. They found it in a way. Yeah, and it was a detail that I never shared with anyone. So after that, I said, stop, yeah. I don't want to do that anymore. We have this a lot, especially when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. My friends love to play it. And you know, every time you call them, at the end, you have to actually send them back. Because if you don't send yeah. them back, they will stuck with you forever. That's what they say. It's crazy, Rooney. It's crazy to do that. You never know what is going to come. Yeah, I think we both are at the same, like... 
I'm sorry, I'm just a bit sick, okay? Yes, guys, actually, Andres is sick today and he's still doing this podcast for you all. It's a flu. I'm going to be okay soon. People are waiting for the podcast and we right. can't skip it. And also, yeah. Chinese New Year is coming up, but we will still keep uploading it for you guys. You want to talk to me about Chinese New Year? What's happening? I mean, it's the biggest celebration for Chinese. I think we will make this another episode. I will tell you the most scary thing it happens to me, okay? Once I was with my friends, we were at the beach and I wanted to pee so badly and there is no restaurant so I need to walk and I was alone. It was around 3 in the morning. I heard something like and I saw a company they make this star with some candles. I was ready to pee. I saw that and I just put my banana inside and running, running, running. I didn't even pee there. In my family and we have one person who can feel and see the ghost. It's my sister. I'm not sure have you experienced when you go new hotel room or a new place. Can you actually yeah. sense if this place is good energy or bad energy? Energy, yeah, yeah, I can. The other time we went on a vacation, the moment when my sister stepped in, she was telling my dad we have to change the place. Oh my God. My dad and my mom believe my sister so much and we change it. We changed oh the hotel God. room. The last time I watched a scary movie alone, I scared so much that I came and went to my mom's room. Oh, I get I every. You, came. you said that I came. <laughs> Have you ever experienced when you are sleeping, you couldn't get up? A lot. I discover a way to get over it, concentrate and count. People were saying that maybe it's ghosts pressing you. Other people, they say that it's your soul outside of your body. And sometimes you can even see your body sleeping. It happens to me just once and I, I try to count like one two three I was so concentrated did you count it to 100 I think I woke up at 10 <laughs> yeah okay I'm sorry Rooney <laughs> it is not funny oh my god you're no, I'm no. just saying I'm sorry I'm, sorry. I'm just <laughs> sharing something really I'm sorry experience two to three times the scarier one is the one in the hospital I need to stay overnight for a day to do the mm -hmm. body checkup my mom and my uncle were there with me I was sleeping at the night and suddenly I woke up I'm sure that I woke up it's not a dream my mom was just beside me playing her phone I want to wake up and pee but I couldn't get up and I keep screaming mom help she couldn't hear me at all. It was the longest moment. At the point, I could get up like nothing happened. I asked my mom, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. My mom was like, no, you were sleeping. The next day, I moved to another room. When we were in high school, they used to take us for a trip. I was in a room with a guy. I didn't know him well. At night, I woke up because I heard someone... <laughs> oh my god, I got scared, Andreas. It was like sleepwalkers, you know, because he was sleeping next to me. He turned his body to me accidentally <laughs> and his eyes was open and he was like, and I scared my life. You yeah. told I, him after? I told him the next day, of course. And he was, oh my God, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you I have this. And I remember him watching TikTok videos. It was a woman. I think She's I know. A really, yeah, you know the, one, the one that she oh talks my God. to her husband. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most hilarious thing I ever watched on TikTok. <laughs> the first time my parents left me home alone what happened they left me home and i just turned on the television and it was like a show talking about black magic and they had some interviews of people the background music was the hotel california it was actually the song of my parents the image was creepy and i was so scared I remember I called my mom and i said come home Aww. <laughs> talking about hotels you knock on the door or do you say anything before you enter no for us we yeah. always do it if i'm staying one night i I will just say, all right, I will just stay one night here, like an announcement. So the Why ghost will leave. Okay. Can you say it in Chinese? I just want to experience the whole thing. Jiu Kun Leo. Jiu Kun Leo is like, excuse me, let me sleep at night here. Oh my God, that's so weird. What about if you knock the door and someone answer? Uh, we will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Is the same as peeing in nature. Hmm. 
all these things connected. Before you pee in nature, do you say anything? I should not no. no, I just unzip my pants and pee. I will say something before I pee. It's similar to the hotel room. I want to make an announcement. They say that there's actually lots of ghosts around the tree. It's better to announce so it, it so you will not pee on them. <laughs> Imagine you on a spirit there and it's like, oh, God, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Do you have any tradition that you do to avoid the ghost like garlic like the real garlic that you can eat yeah just wear it on you you know they make garlic necklace yeah huh what if the person hit garlic he has to choose the spirits or the garlic do you like garlic andres i love garlic me yeah. too so but i don't I mind you know what's my father do when he's sick or when he wants to protect himself he just chop the garlic with olive oil smash it put inside and look he drink it uh, yeah. when yeah. the covid came out he was drinking two pieces of garlic every day he said i will not get covid and you know what's the funny thing he didn't <laughs> he didn't got covid when we were sharing the stories i was feeling something behind me i'm not trying to scare you andreas i didn't share this in the episode with the phobias but it's time to share it the only thing i shared is temples or church or stuff like that especially at night at night i will not go it scares me more than everything i remember something happened to me this happened in taiwan so we were on a tour the bus was showing us around the area that was affected by the earthquake the temple was crashed when we arrived at this temple the tour guy was like all right guys it's time for you to take some photos now i tried uh -huh. my best to take picture but i couldn't when everyone oh my god i am having goose from right now in the bus i just want to take some photos with my camera it works when i go back in the bus okay that's really really weird this is not the intense part andreas i told this story to my auntie and uncles my wow. auntie's camera oh my god <laughs> happens the same no one could take pictures of that place yeah sorry i have goosebumps right now I just remember that story and suddenly I wanted to turn back. Can you open up your umbrella inside the house? We don't do it. We think it's bad luck. Oh, it's the same. Because for us, if we open the umbrella, the ghost could go in. Ah, oh, okay. Doing a research about fairy tale stories from the ancient years in Cyprus. And they so dark with spirit. I saw that, Andreas. Oh my God. No, 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 go away, go away. I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy. <laughs> and for us, if I want to give you olive oil, it's not good to give you after the sunset. They use olive oil in cemeteries. They light up candles with olive oil. So I think it's something with the dead. Do you think they have friendly ghosts like Casper? Who's Casper? I love that. Really? You don't know what, who's Casper? Wait, I mean, Casper is a movie? Casper is a cartoon. Casper the friendly ghost. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. You know that? It's the same for me like Hotel Transylvania. Did you watch this cartoon? Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, Rooney. You need to watch more cartoons. Rooney, this is the most amazing cartoon. I love it. When you're sleeping, you feel like you're falling from somewhere. Did you experience that? I'm sure I did, but I don't have a strong memory of it. You Happens did? to me a lot. There actually has a reason for it. Dreaming about falling tends to signify a loss of control over an important situation. It also indicates fear, terror, and anxiety that comes out of losing grip over significant things. This is so weird. I was driving and always at the moment about to crash. I was waking up. Somebody told me in the past that only women can see colors in their dreams. I couldn't even remember if my dreams colors or no colors. I know that my dreams are colorful. Hi, Miss Andreas. Hello, Ronnie Moo. <laughs> <laughs> dreams about driving a car are said to have a positive meaning, which is good, Andreas. I dream a lot. Every single time when I'm dreaming, I'm trying to escape from a situation when I'm almost succeed i woke up by someone else did that happen to you yes but at a point i trained myself it happens to me the same i was waking up i trained myself to enjoy that moment i understand that i was in a dream i take it more further you know yeah like shoot 
touching me in my dream. And I was like, okay, shoot me more, shoot me more. <laughs> Something like that. Because I could realize that I'm in a dream. You? Yeah. They were shooting me like Western dream, you know, about war or something. Oh, stuff. I like, thought like those shooting. <laughs> Because you were like that, mm. like shooting me, shooting me. <laughs> no, oh my God, Ronnie. <sighs> That was a dreamy episode, Bernie. I received so much love from people. We're so close to reach 1K subscribers. Yeah, hopefully we will reach 1K. If you are loving this podcast, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all the social media. We have our own Patreon where we post the full version of our podcast. So if you're interested yeah. and you want to support our podcast, make sure to check it out. The link is down below. By the way, guys, if you guys have any suggestions, or opinions on our podcast feel free to let us know in the comment section below because we really want to try our best to improve we need your feedback go for it guys be hard on us yeah <laughs> so guys it was another episode of macaroni podcast i'm andreas i'm rooney and thank you for watching the macaroni, macaroni podcast. podcast bye bye guys bye guys my dad knock on my door he was like wake up something is happening right now i saw that with my own eyes i couldn't believe it that means mm -hmm. you are joining the time zone oh. with them oh my god oh my god